Hey, it's Dr. Connor Ward, The Health Elevator. Check out these videos on neck exercises to help reverse the effects of working at a desk. These first set of exercises are for your neck and your upper quarter, your upper part of your back. Um, so nowadays, whenever we're working at home, we're spending a lot of time looking down at a screen if we're working on a laptop or looking forward when we're looking at a mobile phone. Uh, so in order to counteract this, these exercises are designed to try and help get the muscles moving better uh, and get the joints in the neck to uh, go through their full range of movement too. So the first three exercises are referred to as yes, no, maybe, uh, just to help you remind you how to uh, do them. So yes, movement is tilting the head fully back, coming down and tucking the chin in, fully back, into extension, coming back into the middle, tucking the chin in, back, through, and down. So you want to do 10 of those repeated, so you can pause the video and do the other set of nine. Next, we have the no aspect. So that's turning the head as far as you can towards one side, pausing, coming back to the middle, pausing, and as far as you can to the other side, back to the middle, back to the middle, like so. Okay, so you can pause again and do 10 of those, please. Lastly, then, we have the maybe. The maybe comes from shrugging the shoulders up, back, and down. Okay, so up, back, and down. You might hear some clicking while this happens. That's completely fine. Up, back, and down. So go ahead and do 10 of those. Now, we've got some stretches for the neck. So the first stretch, you want to sit on your hand like this, tilt your head to the side and slightly forward and use the opposite hand to stretch like this. You want to hold that stretch for about 10 seconds and then you're going to swap to the other side and do it there. You may need to tilt the head further forward or further to the side in order to get the stretch, but as soon as you get it, make sure you hold it for 10 to 15 seconds uh, and then come back to normal. The next stretch then, you're gonna interlock your fingers together like so, place those behind your head, press forward with your hands, effectively like this, against your head with your chin slightly tucked. So tuck the chin down, elbows wide, push forward with the hands and back with the neck. And again, you're gonna hold that for about 20 seconds, okay? And you should be feeling that sort of between the shoulder blades, maybe up into the shoulders and lower part of the neck as well. Holding that and then release and shrug it off. Lastly then, you wanna do what I refer to as the chicken dance. Kids love the chicken dance uh, and adults too. So this time from the side, you bring your head as far forward as you can and then tucking the chin in and back giving yourself a double chin, so make sure nobody else is watching. So forward and back. Forward and back. Last one, forward and back. So you go ahead and do 10 of those, and uh, when you're finished then, we'll just run through them all again. So yes, no, maybe, 10 of each exercise, the stretch, two static stretches, holding those for 20 seconds each, and then lastly, the chicken dance. If you manage to do those uh, about every half an hour to hour during the day, it takes about a minute to do them once you know how to do them, uh, it will really help to keep the movement in your neck uh, and prevent the uh, sort of sore neck and shoulders that people get whenever they're using laptops and mobile phones. Okay, and check out my other videos on the other areas of your spine uh, in order to keep all of your spine healthy uh, while you're working from home. Mm -hmm.